Firefighters rallied to help one of their own fighting serious health issues. As Local 12's Larry Davis reports, they're lending emotional and financial support to his family. It's a story you'll see only here on Local 12 News. Just recently, we saw how the Brotherhood of Firefighters came together following the tragic death of Cincinnati Fire Apparatus Operator Daryl Gordon. Well, now that Brotherhood is coming together again to help a Middletown firefighter who's in the midst of a very tough health crisis. Middletown firefighter Robert King has serious heart problems. Doctors tell his wife he may be a candidate for a heart transplant. He's undergoing testing at Christ Hospital. But while Robert is sidelined, he and his family are not forgotten by his fellow firefighters. Uh, they've been very supportive of our family, financially, emotionally. They're cutting our grass right now. <laughs> He's a firefighter that loves his job more than anybody that I, I, I know. Um, it runs through his, his blood, you know, and it, it burns inside of him. Middletown firefighter Chris Klug and others turned to social media to help the King family. In just a matter of days, a GoFundMe account brought in thousands of dollars. It spread like wildfire across it. You know, the outpouring of support, um, you know, for his family, I know, has just been overwhelming. You know, just the, the calls, texts, Facebook messages. King's been with Middletown 10 years. He also served in Coleraine Township. Firefighters from around the region pledge their support. He just wants to get back on the truck, you know, and, and do his job and, and help the citizens and help the, the residents of, of Middletown as soon as he can. Uh, you know, we got to kind of sit on him and tell him, hey, just get yourself better first. While his brothers want him back at the firehouse, his family can't wait to get this husband and dad back home and healthy. Amazing husband, a wonderful father. He is dedicated to his family 100%. Um, we sure miss him not being at home right now. It's very hard. Larry Davis, Local 12 News. There's a link to the King Family's GoFundMe site on Local12.com. You'll find it by clicking the red Get It button. That'll take you there.